Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Um, as I was eating a lunch, I just quickly just put some things on paper from the top of my head. These are these are basic things. This has nothing to do with this has nothing to do with the, the pivots. Has nothing to do with anything. These are basic things that I think every trader needs to know about. Uh, for all you guys who uh, who haven't seen it, it'll be on you know it'll be on this weekend's uh, email. But th these are basic things, folks. These are these are basic things that every trader. I don't care how you trade, what you trade. These are very basic things. Okay, very very basic things. The kind of the the to kind of play out, right? These are very, very, very basic things. Okay, number one, like we talk about all the time, there's only one breakout. Okay, there's absolutely one breakout. There's nothing, there's nothing in 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 the playbook that says Tesla breaks out of 950, and then it breaks out of 1020, and then it breaks out of 1040. These are all continuations, right? 1025 is just a big number because it was the previous day's high. There's no macro significance to the big number. There's no there's no full size at 1025 to get to 1040. The longer the stock trades on a week cycle, week and a half cycle, two week cycle, that 1040 becomes a big number, right? But not you know, but not anything else. So every there's only one breakout. Okay, everything else is everything else is a follow through. And the further again, guys, remember the further a stock goes, the further a stock goes from its breakout level, the higher probability it's going to come back, right? Even though it has the next leg up, Jesus Christ, they just take out. Oh wow, they just they just took out fifty thousand on this RMTI. Somebody just bought fifty thousand. Maybe this thing, maybe this thing goes to fifty cents a dollar. Who the hell knows? But but that that's the point, right? That's the point. So you're you're going heavy on the breakout, on the macro breakout. Like Tesla at nine fifty was huge. That's why there's so much size. Uh, Two fifty on the video was huge because that was that was the daily breakout. But everything else is continuation. Everything else is literally, um, everything else is literally just follow through. When you're trading non, and when you when you're trading non breakouts, macro breakouts, you're trading a between a quarter and half size. Okay, because again, if you're right on a breakout, you 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 make huge money. I mean, we, we usually not, never talk about money, but that's the reality. When a stock breaks out, on it, you're going to make huge money on it because there's, there's measured potential. When there's everything else, $2 here, $3 there, it's, it's nothing. So if you're wrong on that, you're wrong for nothing, right? If you're wrong, you're wrong for nothing. And, that, and, that's, and that's the point. So when, you, when you're taking your big swings, you're taking your big swings on a macro area. Everything else bounces this, that, follow through, quarter size, half size, third size, eighth size, whatever the case may be. But you want to take your big swings when you have a big picture trade, right? Very basic rule again. And again, it doesn't make a difference how you trade. Number one, if you're an options trader, you cannot trade every day. Again, I get it. A lot of you guys have smaller accounts. I get it. Believe me, I get it. But there's nothing you can do about not trading every single day. You don't get a breakout every single day. If you're an options trader, you need measured potential. You need a stock to be able to go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 points over the next two, three days. If you can't get a setup like that, you can't put on your trade. Your, your premium will die. Okay, that's the discipline. It's, it's, it's unfortunately, people do have smaller accounts. There's, there's nothing you can do about it, but there's a way around it. Just the way we've had dozens and dozens and dozens of people work themselves around it and get finally above that, you know, whatever that magical, what is that, 25, 30 grand, that magical threshold, right? Once you get above that, you still have to be disciplined, but at least that then you have an option to trade equity, right? Then you can scalp for 50 cents. You can scalp for a dollar. But if you're an options trader, you need a 15, 20, $30 move for your, for your, for your stock to go higher, right? For, for your premium, for your option, uh, for your contracts to go higher. That's, that, that's the tease, right? They, they tease you because they're saying, look, you could put a little money up, right? What's the big deal? This contract costs, you know, this contract costs $2. Right, two dollars. Look at it, and you realize, that, and you realize, there's no room in the trade. There's a reason why your contract is priced so low. The, the contracts that are juiced are the ones that have the biggest measure of potential. That's why these 1,100 calls when Tesla was flying, everybody's buying them nonstop, nonstop. Right? 
Right. So that's my that's my point. Guys, wait for these plays. OK, all these guys, uh, all these guys that started, right, all these guys that started with 10,000, 5,000, 6,000, they grew their accounts to six and seven figures. You have to wait for these plays. Matt will tell you, Larry will tell you, you, you have to wait for these magical plays. You, you can, there's no way you can make money. There is apps. I'm telling you as the days long, there is absolutely no way you can make money trading on the option side. If you don't have measured potential, there's no way there's no way you're going to burn yourself out. You're going to start taking complacent trades. You're going to start taking trades that th they're not even trades, right? That you think is going to happen this, that, the other thing, you're going to be trading channels within channels, within channels, within channels. And you're going to get five cent move on your, on your, on your options. You do this 200 times a day and get absolutely nowhere. Okay. It's, it's the discipline, right? It's absolutely the discipline. There's nothing you can do and it's not your fault. I, again, I, I would say, I would say about 25% of the webinar is under the pattern day trade rule, right? What, what, what is it? 25, 30 grand. Okay. So I, I would say 25, 30% they're under, under that number. Okay. And the most important part is you, you have to stay disciplined to understand the big picture. Okay. Again, very, very easy, basic things to understand. If something is above the five-day moving average, it's the short-term sentiment. That's bullish. That's not bearish. If it's under the five-day moving average, that's bearish. That's not bullish. Above the 50-day is super bullish. Below the 50-day is super bearish. Again, the, the, the charts are there for the disciplined trader to protect themselves from making random, harsh decisions that don't make any sense. That's why the charts are there for us, right? You, again, if, the, if we're above the 200 day moving average, the last thing you wanna do is start sitting there and go, well, this thing's a short. It's not a short, it's just a stock that's down that day, okay? Th there's a reason why these stocks are bouncing back up because we're above the five day, we're above the 50 day. They're protecting it over and over and over again. There's a reason why the, the moves on the upside are so exaggerated. That's where the euphoria is. This is called a rest. OK, so the last thing you want to do is sit there, trade every single day on on hands that you're getting on a two seven offsuit. It's not the same day. Today is not the same day as the video breaking out at 950. Today is not the same day as, as, as you know, excuse me, Tesla breaking out at 950 or the video break, breaking out at 250. This is a day that this, this is it. This is a day up, down, up, down. They're defending the five day, defending the 50 day. But the moral of the story is it's still upward bias until it's not. When it starts turning bearish and we lose the five and lose the 50, of course we're sell values because the charts are telling you you're supposed to be sell values. But the most important part, especially when you, for all you new traders, that you have to get through, through your big, beautiful, thick skulls that you cannot trade every day. You can't. You shouldn't. There's not enough value, right? There's not enough value for the day for you to take, especially with your experience and your account size and still your emotional attachment to this business. There's not, there's not enough meat on that bone for you to succeed because, again, the market's not giving you that opportunity, nor it should, right? That's not the market's job. So if I'm sitting there, I go, eh, there's nothing really to do. It's not, a, it's, it's, not a, you know, it's not a green light. It shouldn't be a green light in your head and say, oh, wow, wow, what do you mean he thinks nothing? He really does mean there's something to do, right? You see what the market's doing. You see what the, why the charts are there, okay? You have to be disciplined. The, the difference between a trader that's trading today or a trader that's going to be trading 10 years from now is what you do in your infancy stages, your first two, three years of your macro development, this is where you're going to build your foundation. This is where you're going to the build your lifeline. If you're just sitting there, every, put it this way, if you put on five, six trades today, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing it wrong, right? That's just the reality. You have to trade, right? You have to trade based on what the market is giving you, okay? If the market's not giving you anything, you cannot trade. That's just the reality. You cannot trade. I know it's hard. I know social media is telling you you could turn $500 into $50 million. No, they, you can't. You can't. I'm sorry. You can't. Okay. That's just the reality. I've been doing this for 23 years. You can't. If, and if you can, give me their number. I'd love to see what the hell they're doing because obviously I'm doing it wrong. Okay. So the most important part, right? The most important part, guys, you have to save yourself, right? You have to extend your, your, your shelf life. You have to do everything possible to put yourself in a position you're here 10, 15, 20 years from now. You're not doing it for the trade. You're doing it for a career. I keep on re because re I keep on getting that damn stupid fucking email once a week. Hey, Dan, I know I wasn't supposed to do anything today. I know there wasn't any value, but I put myself in a hole. I don't want to hear that email. I'm telling you what's going to happen. This is not a joke. It's your money.
right? It's your money. Why would you purposely sabotage yourself every single day thinking about, wow, there's opportunity. Look, the, the dickhead on social media with his stupid avatar is telling me how great the market is today. You're not chasing performance, okay? You're not chasing performance. You're not trying to outdo the scoreboard. You're trying to find the biggest value based on the previous night's research and putting yourself in a position for fucking longevity. It's longevity. It's not about today. It's longevity. If Tesla's the breakout at 1040, you're not buying it at 1039. You're buying it at 1040. You're not anticipating. You're an adult. Act like an adult. Again, I'm sorry, but this, you know, it's getting, it's getting absolutely ridiculous. If I'm telling you this is going to happen, why would you possibly do this to yourself? And it's not your fault. I get it. It's not your fault. But at some point, right, at some point, you have to act like an adult and say, look, this is the formula right? This is the absolute formula to take myself out of this business. Why would you continuously, constantly, over and over and over again, do the same things? If you're wrong, you're wrong. Wrong, Be wrong small. Why be wrong big? Why fucking jump out of the 10th floor if you could jump out of the first? It doesn't make any sense, right? It doesn't make any sense. Be a better friend to yourself, right? Why put yourself in a, you know, why put yourself in a situation that you're guessing, Stop guessing. There's nothing to guess about. That's what the charts are there for, right? Don't get cute. There's nothing to get cute about. Again, if you put on seven trades today, I have no idea what you're doing, right? I have no idea what you're doing. You, you obviously self-reflecting at four o'clock and you say to yourself, what the hell did I do today, right? And, and again, it's all about discipline. Guys, there's no difference between me and you. There's absolute, I'm telling you the day is long. There's absolutely no difference between me and you. The only difference is I figured out what not to do 20 years ago, right? 20 years ago, I figured out what not to do. And that's what I'm trying to convey. So, so the traders, you could put two traders in the same room. One has discipline, one has not. One has a $100,000 account, one has a $50,000 account. I promise you the $50,000 account or the $25,000 account with discipline is going to outperform that, that, that other trader every single day because that trader is trading on instinct. We don't know shit. Okay, we don't know anything. I've never once, since I've even hosting the webinar for 12 years, ever said, hey, I know exactly what's going on. I know nothing. I, I'm, I'm going based on price action. If the price action says one way, I'm going the other way. I'm going the same way. I'm not trying to outperform the market and trying to figure out what happens next. Let the market tell you next. Every video I say, look, I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I have my research. I think what's going to happen, but the opposite can completely happen, right? That's all we are. We, we trade off of research that gets confirmed, not research that we're anticipating is going to happen. So if you want to do this for a living, you want to do this for a very long time for a living, you have to stop the, the self-sabotage. It's the self-sabotage every single time. That's what's going to get you every single time. There's no magic formula. The self-sabotage is, is the fastest way to remove yourself from this business. Why do it? You have the blueprint, right? You have the blueprint in front of you. You have people in here that started out exactly the same you, the same way that you are doing six and seven figures. Why are you trying to be different? Why are you trying to be smarter? Right? Why are you putting yourself in a position that you're going to be out of this business? These are facts. These are, guys, these are not things I'm just, I just woke up one day and said, oh, you know what? I feel like really sharing this with the, with, the, with, with the group because it's Friday afternoon. I have really nothing else to talk about. Okay? We've all done it. This is not a personal attack against anybody. We've all done it. I've stabbed myself in the neck in the jugular, in the throat, in the ribs, in the ass, in the foot, over and over and over again my first five years. I've done it. Why would you possibly do the same things as I'm telling you what not to do over and over again? I didn't have a blueprint. We didn't have a roadmap. You do now. That's the point. You do now. This is, guys, I'm telling you, guys like me who've been doing this for years are going to take your money nine out of 10 times. We're going to do it because we figured out what not to do. That's the whole point, guys. We figured out what not to do. It's so easy, right? Here, 950 break, it goes to 1,000. Wow, great. It's not a great call. It's what you did prior to that 950 to put you in a position to get that move from 950 to 1,000. It's not the trade. It's what you did prior to the trade that mentally put you in a situation to succeed, right? Why put yourself in a situation that your longevity gets cut in half by putting on trades that don't make any sense, that don't make any sense. Who cares if the market's open? 
Who cares what some scumbag on social media is doing? Who cares? Right? Who cares? The charts are right in front of you. These are the charts. They're no magical charts. They're all in front of you. They're telling you where price action is going to confirm. Be a better friend to yourself. Right? Stop thinking what you think is going to happen. Let it confirm. I don't, again, I don't care if Christ is sitting there at 1039 and saying, you know what? You can go in a little bit early. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Price action is there for a reason. Long, short, and different is there for a reason. Right? I, again, I, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be, be echoing this statement, this sentiment, if, if, if it, like, I, again, for every email that I get, hey, Dan, I had like biggest month ever, I had my biggest year ever, I get that same damn email at towards the end of the week. Hey, Dan, you know what? Uh, you know, I overtraded and, um, you know, I know there was no value today, but I did 11 trades and I gave back my whole week. Dude, I don't want to hear that shit anymore. You know you, what you did is wrong. You know what you did is wrong. If I'm sitting there and I go, wow, everything is just trading in a channel. Again, it's not a secret code of get size on things. This is just, guys, this is just the reality. You have to hear this. You have to understand this. You have to embrace this. Because if you don't, you're going to be statistic. I give you my word. Self-sabotage is so damn easy. It's so easy. It's not, this is not a pep talk. This is a reality check. 